How's it going, everybody? I hope you're all doing good. This is a pretty special gun for me. I'm super honored to be working with Avanix finally. So Avanix and New England Air Gun sent this over. To be honest with you guys, this is one of the first times I've got to keep a gun in exchange for making a video. So I'm grateful for that. Also, you guys can thank Avanix and New England Air Gun by checking out Avanix.com and NewEnglandAirGun.com. If you saw my 2022 SHOT Show video about Avanix, you know they have a lot of exciting models hitting the market right now. This Cloud Ultra was actually announced probably three years ago, and they finally made it to the States. So these are available in 22, 25, and 30 caliber. Comes in black, red, or blue. If you want to order one of these, just give New England Air Gun a call or an email, and they'll order you whatever you want, and it'll be here in a couple weeks. Here's a hardcore stats. 580cc carbon fiber bottle. You're going to have one half UNF threaded muzzle, so you can put any LDC, moderator, silencer, whatever you want to call it on there. This is a bullpup configuration, so the overall length is only 32 inches, but your barrel length, get this you guys, 33, actually 33 inch gun, 27 inch barrel. <laughs> How do you like that? So 27 inch barrel on the 30 caliber, which is 685 millimeters, but in the 177, I believe you have a 22 inch barrel, which is 550 millimeters. 22 and 25 caliber have 600 millimeter barrels, which is 24 inches. We're going to be looking at the 30 caliber today, and I measured it. It is indeed a 27 inch barrel. Magazine capacity in these guys, 10 shots in 22, 9 shots in 25 caliber, and 30 caliber is going to fit 7 shots in the magazine. You're going to get 2 magazines with this gun, and these are super high quality magazines specially designed for semi-auto. Okay, so they'll never jam. The overall weight on the Cloud Ultra is going to be in the smaller calibers, 7.2 pounds or 3.3 kilograms. The 30 caliber is going to weigh a little bit more, 7.7 .7 pounds, 3.5 kilograms. And you guys, the balance on this gun is so awesome. Even with my scope on there, it's super easy to hold still. So we'll try to go over that in a little bit. The power on the 22 caliber is going to give you 39 foot-pounds of energy or 53 joules. 25 caliber, 44 foot-pounds of energy or 63 joules and 90 joules of energy on the 30 caliber, or 64 foot-pounds. Now this is a semi-auto mag-fed repeater. It has adjustable power as well, so you can shoot it on high, medium, or low. Manual safety, got 22 millimeter weaver rails on the top, and a nice one on the bottom for your bipod. As you can see, this gun's super stylish. That's one thing about Avanix guns, is they have to be the most stylish, cool-looking guns that are around. I mean, they always look good. They're very sporty. I don't know. Anyway, I like them. So if you are interested in the Avanix line, definitely check out the 2022 SHOT Show video that I made. There will be a link in the description at the end of this video. But as I was going to say, it's the best info on all the Avanix guns is at Avanix.com. So you go there and they're going to give you detailed pictures of all their models. It's laid out really nice. And they give you every single stat you can think of. The other thing about this gun that a lot of you are going to be happy to know is unless you ask otherwise, it's going to come with an unchoked rifled barrel. So that means you can shoot slugs with this bad boy. Now, if you want a choked barrel, like you want to use this specifically for pellet shooting, you just request a choked barrel and you, and you can have one. But by default, these are going to come with an unchoked rifled barrel with a twist rate of 1 and 19. Two-stage adjustable trigger. And I think that's it, you guys, for hardcore stats. Once again, if you want to order one of these, just go to NewEnglandAirGun.com, shoot them an email, or give John a call, and they'll order you anything you want from a Vanix. So I went ahead and cleaned this with ballast all that's safe for your air gun seals, a crown saver, flexible cleaning rod that's not going to screw up the end of my barrel, and it definitely needed a cleaning. So there's my patch progress. First ones were super dirty, and I didn't get it all the way clean, but see by those stripes I'm definitely engaging the rifling. That's the last one I pulled about five times. If you take the barrel off, which I think you can, it would be good to clean this with a nylon brush from the back. Now, it does say on the Vanix website that these are available with a regulator, but I heard from Vanix that the regulators for these guns are not quite ready yet, but they will be in the future. By the way, this has a 250 bar fill. It comes with a foster fitting built right into the gun, so there's no fill probe required, which is awesome. The finish and build quality on this gun is superb. Like I say, the handling is awesome. If your gun is well balanced, it should be comfortable and easy to hold still. So this gun is definitely that. The grip is AR compatible. And once again, this bullpup design is just badass looking. 
So without further ado, let's get this party started. I couldn't get the shroud loose when I was cleaning it, but it's actually just hand tightened. It actually screws about an inch into the receiver block. Pull it off, it wants to stop at the end there, so you may actually have to take your barrel out in order to get this off. But if you look back here, there's two ready to go bolts. You just undo those and you should be able to pull your barrel right in and out. So that's something we'll do in a future video. For now though, I just screwed that back in, gave it a good hand tightening. And if you look closely, there's actually an O-ring. So you're gonna snug that up and basically get it as tight as you can, that'll hold it. And if you look on the front, there's actually an O-ring on the front too, on your one half UNF adapter. So again, you can just hand tighten all this stuff. So I went ahead and put my 2.0 on there. Like I always do about this time. So with a 2.0 on there, here's a sound test. 75 decibels. And here is with no silencer at all. 93 decibels, pretty loud. Here's a trigger pull test. Almost a three pound trigger pull. And this trigger is not adjustable. 36 yards away, close enough. But as you guys will see in a second here, this gun is still extremely accurate. There's a major bird disturbance across the way there, so <laughs> my dog's sitting there wondering what the heck's going on. Doesn't mean I'm going to shoot them, though. They make all the noise they want. All right, so there's basically two 30 caliber pellets, and they're the 44.75 grain JSB, which are, this is a variant of them, which is the FX version, but this happens to be 46 grains. Then we got the 50 grains, which is 50.15 grains, and then their FX counterpart, which FX pellets are a little better than JSB. They're like select JSB, basically. They are made by JSB. Anyway, these also happen to be 5.15. So herein is my 2.0, okay, with the uh, limited edition muzzle brake right there. And I dream of a day when they make this piece in every different color. So I could just get a red one to match my gun. That's me predicting the future. So instead of running that bad boy, which I may end up doing, I'm thinking my old school Shogun. Right there, buddy. Good old smooth front there, fluted. So I'm gonna throw this on there because this is a dirty 30. Now a lot of you asked when the 2.0 came out, does that 2.0 actually silence your gun better than other Donnie FL suppressors? Well, I ended up running my Shogun on this gun, so we're going to find out. And it looks like they are almost exactly the same, with the 2.0 being a teeny bit quieter. All right, we got 44 grain loaded up. One shot side in, wasn't even aiming at nothing. Oh, I think we're on meters per second. So it looks like I do need to go over a teeny bit. <laughs> That's a direct hit. A little to the side, I think. Oh, smack that thing. I think we might be sighted in. Look at that little freaking right where I think. Oh, pellet on pellet. That was a pellet on pellet right there. Taking that thing for a ride. Oh, but yeah, so I don't have to cock my gun. I just put it on safety. So when you're ready to shoot, you just take this finger, push that out, and you're ready to rock and roll. What's cool is that, let's say you were hunting and it just started raining on you unexpectedly. This thing covers your magazine and keeps everything dry. So to load these magazines, you just give it a spin one notch, or actually, I guess you would load the first one like this. And you want to make sure that you seat it. So push it down there a little bit. Next one. But yeah, seating the pellets is something that's important with a Vanix. So I pushed it in. And you know, that might be okay, but yeah. 30 calibers are a little easier to load, but like with the 22s, you might have to snap them in a little bit. See, that one actually snapped in okay. Ooh. 
Yeah, these 30s snap in good, but with some of the calibers, you have to make sure that just having it flush enough to spin in the magazine is not good enough. You want to make sure it gets down there in the magazine like you see there. So putting a 50 grain in there and see how it's flush right there. Almost good enough, but not quite. Give it a little push. Get it down in there so you can still spin your magazine. These are 50.15 grain JSBs. We're going to do one magazine of each of these real fast. So there's a the difference between a 44 grain and a 50.15 grain. One's just a little bit bigger. I got a magazine loaded up with the 44.75s. All right, to load the magazine, you're gonna open that. And if your bolt's not already back or basically your gun's not cocked, then you go like that. Now to decock your gun, so if you don't see that bolt in there, your gun's ready to rock and roll once you take the safety off. So to decock it, you open that bad boy, pull the trigger, let it down gently, and now you're decocked. It's not gonna fire the gun. So basically to get the magazine in, pull it back like that, and if you look right, see that little notch right there? That is where you're gonna slide in your magazine is going to have that same notch just slide that right in like this and then there's a ball a detent thing right here that's going to go into position and it'll hold your magazine you'll feel it snap in place once it is go like that and you're ready to go now one thing about this gun is if it's in the ready to go position that is if it's cocked then you have to do anything to get your magazine in and out because that bolt stays back there and it just goes forward when it's firing. So this magazine, I think I shot two or three out of here. So now I can pull it out, top it off, put it back in. All right, so that's actually the first detent. These have detents in there. So that clicked into position. I had just turned this like the maximum that you can go. So yeah, let's just try being right there. Okay, see what happens. We're good, I think we were on high. So check this out. I decided this guy didn't look too happy so I shot him two more times. And I decided that he looked a little bit like bottom or All right, this is for the 50.15 grain. Let's see where they hit. <laughs> oh man. Wow, those are going 780. Pretty awesome though, hitting almost the same spot with uh, the big boys. So let's just go for this one right here. Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh. Wow, me likey. So, semi-auto doesn't slow this gun down at all, as far as accuracy. Hold on, buddy, I'll turn you right side up in a second. And this right here, you guys, I don't remember how many shots we put on here, but look, that's a dime right there. 30 caliber, doing it to it, and that was a 44.75 grain. All right, we do have some wind about seven miles an hour, but it's the calmest we're gonna get in the next few days, so. Still set up at the same location. Got a target out there now. Woo, there we are, very special. 35 yards away, it says this time. Perfect. All the shooting from here till the end of the video is shown in real time, so there's no editing between shots. What's cool about a semi-auto is you never have to take your gun off the bullseye to cock it. So you can stay right on target. All you gotta do is pull that trigger again. And this is not like a typical semi-auto. You assume that you're gonna sacrifice accuracy for that semi-auto action. But with the Cloud Ultra, that's not the case. Again, you guys, I'm showing this in real time. 
I'm just shooting, taking my time to aim for the next shot, and then pulling that trigger. This is me shooting my very best, concentrating super hard with the 44 grain JSPs. So this is the official group of those. But I believe the 50.15 grain is a little more accurate. So we're gonna use those for the rest of this video. Wow, I was actually not recording that whole time. Wow, I was like, wow, this video's done. So I'm gonna do one more five shot group for you guys. Oh shoot, with the 50s though, hold on. Put the right pellet here. All right, we got a good win now, but if I shoot the wind flag, then that'll help. Look at that, you guys. Five through the same hole in the wind in kind of massive wind. <laughs> that was awesome. Seriously, you guys, show me a side lever 30 caliber that shoots that good. I mean, I'm sure there's a few out there, but that's as good as any side lever 30 caliber that I know of. Or again, all those guys. But you guys, even this like messed up dime right here that got shot, covers that group. So I didn't do any special tuning or anything to this gun. What you just watched was the actual first 20 shots ever fired from this gun straight out of the box. And I actually talked to Rick Ream, Shooter1721, all the time on Facebook, and he says the 22 is exactly the same. Super accurate. We're gonna be shooting the 50.15 grains. I'm just gonna take a few shots to sight in, then we're gonna blast these tiny targets. There we go. Okay, we are set up right now. 49 yards away, nice. We're gonna call it 50. All right, windy conditions. Let me do a little sight in action here. Got a full tank. <laughs> All right, well, we just put five through the same hole at 50 yards. Um, I guess I'll click down maybe a teeny bit. All right, so these should be, this should be easy. The camera down at the target wasn't recording in this segment, but I'm going to put this arrow here to show you which target I'm shooting at. Oh, it's out of ammo. Fix my camera. 50.15 grain. Oh. I'm glad he's still up here. Couldn't quite see what I was shooting out there. That's a 9 volt battery, we're going to smack that. All this stuff in rapid succession. Darn it. That was awesome.
So we're only at 200 bar and I had to have shot at least four magazines, maybe five. Look right there. That's two shots right there at 50 yards. That battery is feeling jacked up. Oh my gosh. Are you okay, buddy? This is what happens when a nine volt gets hit with a dirty 30, you guys. Whoa. Look at that mustard packet. <laughs> this thing's like unrecognizable. Just shredded. Wow. So like I said, Rick over there at Shooter1721 is gonna be testing the 22 out pretty quick here. Keep your eye out for that video. And I showed him a picture of my groups I shot, and he said it's just as accurate as this 30 caliber. I am holding onto this gun for my Advantage collection, which I'll show you guys in the near future. But the second video on this 30 caliber Cloud Ultra is gonna be 75 and 100 yard shooting, but we're gonna warm up with some official groups at 35 and 50 yards. So we'll be back at you shooting this bad boy again. Also, I don't know if I'll have time to do videos on them, but right now I'm sitting on a 30 caliber Max Air 2. Good looking gun, as you can see. I got this from Ben over there at Shooting Gear Reviews, and he also sold me this awesome 357 little shorty thunder stick. So hopefully I'll have time to at least do a little bit of shooting with these two models for you guys. But definitely we're going to be back at you with more of this Cloud Ultra and at least a few videos from the Ibex in 22 caliber. Looking forward to that. Once again, check out New England Air Gun if you want to order any of these. Avanix.com if you want to see more of their lineup. And don't miss the 2022 SHOT Show video that I made about Avanix because it's going to show you all of their coolest guns that are available now. All right, you guys. That's it for me on this one. Everybody take care out there. Happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.